Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I'm Prisma, and today we're continuing with Hades 2 because. Yeah. That is what we're going to be doing. I mean, we've been doing quite well. We've managed to basically get Mum back as far as anything else is concerned and get Persephone back in. So, yeah. What, what keepsake am I actually missing? Let's see if we can. Uh, Figure this out. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Paracles. Okay, so he's the only other one. Yeah. Other than that, we got to continue, go through, and try and, you know, do everything else we can. So yeah, we're going with the fists today. The fists. Not fun. Magnetize. Hmm. Yeah, I prefer the asset to tell us. Why not? And Okay, so yeah, I guess uh hard labor it is. Try and get the uh, extra bits from heat what heat one. Hmm. I don't suppose. No, it is nothing, little sprout. It's just I hear such wicked rumors now and then about my daughter, lost to me, and what became of her. Corey, we called her then. Persephone is what she called herself. Before she vanished utterly, leaving no trace. Hmm. Um. Okay, we'll take the crystal beam. I quite like those. That's what you get. Crystal beams are pretty useful, and I quite like them. But yeah, I mean, we complete quite a lot of, like, the basic stuff for the game, which is kind of nice. Which I'm kind of, like, really happy with. He's giving me a roll. I uh, could take the upgrade or t t take the health. Hmm. I think really I want to upgrade yet, so we'll move on. Yeah, and I know I've already got the mistake of the fact that I decided that I would probably take the revive <laughs> trinket into this fight before changing it, which is my own fault. You know, I do stupid things all the time. Wouldn't be the last. I should deal with those. Nose. Nose. Or like in the cast, being as it is at the moment. But yeah, I mean, I'm still playing it for a little bit anyway, because I still like the game. And. You know, although we've got Hades 2 to play as well, which is uh, in early access. We will not dismiss all the hard work we've done with this one, for the meantime anyway. I sense so much death at the gates of your father's realm of late, my king. Now I know that seems perfectly ordinary on the face of it, except there's something more. I wonder if you know the reason why. Attacks inflict doom. Slaying a foe means my next attack deals more damage. Hmm. Or upgrade this to heroic. Hurling blades. It has actually really good damage sure and it is worth mind. getting. Like it's one thing that you don't realise just how really good that damage is. 
on the cast as well. Look at that. They only caught the back end of that and they shreds them. In a fight with like multiple of them. This is only pretty important. Boss fight. Hmm. Do we take the weak? I don't do enough the Aphrodite stuff to be honest, but yeah, come on, let's do that. The main reason for the fact that just her stuff, like in this particular uh, version, is not exactly that strong. Like playing weak seems great and all, but it's more of a defensive tool than it is an offensive tool. In a game that's this fast paced requires you to have offensive tools, not defensive ones. There we go. That's what you get. You're going to love it on Olympus, little godling. The air is beautiful and brisk, the gardens lush, the feasting plentiful. Why, it must be the opposite of everything to which you are accustomed. Uh, dash and flicks weak wherever I let end up. All my attacks do more damage and inflict weak. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Strength and beauty. I think it's the, probably the only one that gives you like the biggest uh, percentage increase on your attacks, though. Found me, huh? Yeah, I don't need to worry. I can just send off my cast, leave the room, run around in circles. Five for 20 more seconds, man. Sounds like a great room to be in. Did take a lot of damage though for it. Decidedly below my expectations. Different than before. Hmm. Could take the gold. Don't really want it. Um. Is the shop worth it, or... Not yet, I don't think. I think it's too early for a shop. I was right. You can see, like, the, the damage increase that you get from her boons as such in comparison. This is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, we've been chilling out, so You got your hands on Malfon, the twin fists I see. No ordinary weapon. Prone to fits of savagery quite unbecoming of a well trained warrior. Then watch yourself and throw not caution to the wind. Uh, there we go, the dash to deflecting is pretty good. We'll pick that up. But yeah, I mean... I'm kind of debating at the moment whether to continue playing Hades, as it were, because I got to a point where I was kind of happy with the runs going, as they were, but I'll probably keep going for a bit anyway. Because, you know, I still do like playing Hades anyway. And it's not all there is to see of the game either. It's not like uh, this is the end of it all. But we are getting quite a good build set up here. So 
so I cannot complain. Uh, uppercut. Your attack does five damage for each can take a consecutive hit to a foe. Hmm. I do like Concentrate Knuckle, plus that damage will get kind of multiplied up as well. Uh, drop some healing items for me. That'll be great. And extra bonus to my attack. Why not? Watch him, we'll get like one shot there. I feel pretty tired today, to be honest, in comparison to, like, everything else. Kind of didn't really get much sleep last night, just because I was then just, like, so wide awake, which is not unheard of. Um, the health. She is made. Speak to Caron. Caron, mate. Wanted to thank you very, very much for bringing Mother and me home. Your boat's quite comfortable, you know. Though I suppose you won't be making a habit of giving me a ride, will you? <laughs> yeah, good luck, Caron. It's quite all right. I don't mind the walk. And my special inflicts doom. That's an epic, or just general increase in damage is pretty good, actually. I'll buy the healing. <laughs> Might as well buy it. Let's hear it. I'm here on official business this time, Tisiphone, so, um, stand aside. Although, I guess the whole point of this job is that you're meant to try to stop me anyway, isn't that right? Well then, let's get to work. Yeah. We've got the joys of uh, Father's Day coming up as well for the weekend, which is going to be kind of nice. So we got all that to look forward to as well. Quick fight down. And I can't even playing other games and messing around in my free time if I can get the chance. Although I don't really do that much at the moment, which is, uh, you know, just one of those things, really. I really should keep the lucky tooth on, but I should get rid of it. I don't need the extra death defiance and stuff like that. To choose. But what do we want to pick up, though? Yeah, why not? Go with that one. Tax inflict week, probably keep that. Increase the rarity of the boon that I next get. That'll be fine. Let's move on. Nowhere to go but up. But yeah, with Hades, like there are like other events that I know that kind of go through all this and stuff like that, but I don't know all of them. Health or a boon that could hurt me. I'd rather take the health. The passive boons you get from Chaos here at the moment aren't the best. Better than early rather than late in my opinion, but just the way things are really. for that one. A little bit worried. Uh, 
here now we'll start taking some bonuses. Hope we can get like the attack up because I'm gonna use that quite a lot. That will be the main source of damage in theory. I wonder what other upgrades I should be getting. Uh, yeah, see, like the Heartbreak Strike. Juicy. Such a good increase. And again, we'll do the same. Ooh, one of these ones, so I can just, like, pre ride this. I can't stay long, so how about we get this business over with? So surly. Can you deal death faster than You can take that one. I, I can't kill that one quick enough. I'll take the extra free health though. And the attacks are getting increased as well. I'm going. Yeah, these fights you don't lose anything, which is kind of the reason why I prefer it. Now yeah, let's face it against the mini boss, why not? Ah, this one though. Hit me if you can, which is. <laughs> Just the, uh, the 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 magnetic of the glove is so good there. In the name of Hades. At special inflicts weak, weak durations are longer, or I can do the charm, which does massive damage. I do like the charm; like the damage output is like really good. Uh, inflicting special on that. Hmm. I'll pick that. I'm gonna flick wheat to everything and go for it. Well, the good news is I can re-roll stuff if I need to now as well, which is uh <laughs> those double uppercuts. These fists are going to do the talking soon. That's it. Bring them in and just literally one shot them. But I do need to heal again because I'm like taking way too much damage, especially in the last room, but that room I always do terrible in it anyway. Go for the nectar because again we want to make sure we get everyone's kind of like social things done if we can. punch everyone to death slowly. But yeah, the, the DPS output of the fists is just massively insane. Nice, magma kill. Don't see that very often. Uh, take the upgrade again. Don't really care what the last one is. Should I though? Yeah, I should have done. Probably was a shop. Good enough to eat. But look at that, that's a massive increase. But that's just a general 4% damage increase across the board. I think that gets multiplied after. 
when this one just gives me a general yeah I think we just take the general 4% let's face off against the boss I'm not too sure I'm not sure the damage calculation is after everything that's been modified at or is done like alongside or before I'll take that as a no not at all thank you for asking friend good news is, is with the dodge that I've got we should be all okay but yeah look I mean that that um, cyclone cast is really good at stuff like this so I do wish it was uh, a little bit better. Okay, now the worst part of the uh, this fight. Come on, you heads. But yeah, I mean. I feel like I need to just chill out a little bit more. Because I think I've just been like overly stressed and which probably isn't happening with my sleep and stuff, so But you know Sometimes it's hard to realise that. So I am nowhere near perfect with uh, managing my health, although I really should be. So I try to tend to cram too many things into a day, which doesn't help out, and then get sort of like a uh, mental tiredness. We'll have you back here soon enough, I think. And who else do we want? So I've seen... I guess we'll go for the Owl Pendant. That's probably more useful. Upgrade the nearest boon, fishing point, extra gold. Don't want to sign anything else. Let's go. Now hopefully we can get a pretty decent uh, weapon upgrade. Oh, my fishing point. Fish. That's a cuff, all right. Ah, oh, we didn't get one. I would like the health, but the compound effect of the both the next boom being greater and you again. And what I picked up, I'd rather, uh... I'd rather go for the, uh, boon while I can. So we should get something really good. Death Defiance restores more health and replenishes one use. Don't have anything I can use. It makes me purpose for longer. Or no, see the bronze skin. The damage reduction of like 10% is pretty good. Here's the weapon upgrade. Yeah, it's one of the mechanics that I learned was about that when you get to this stage, you'll always get at least a weapon upgrade pretty quickly.
Which is kind of nice, because it means you know you're guaranteed at least one through the run. Which means that you can actually kind of pick and choose within certain realms of, um, oh, I need this weapon upgrade to get the most out of this weapon, so as long as I get to Elysium, I know I'm going to get it eventually, or, you know, there will be a run where I will get it, kind of thing. And I think the new game is kind of missing that, as well as I don't think the um, weapon bonuses are that strong. While using your attack and special sturdy, attack has more range. Your attack becomes a three-hit sequence and deals 40 base damage at the end. Hmm. Let's try Heavy Knuckle. That should do it. And consecutive attack should work pretty well. Let's go for level upgrade. Again, the nice explody boys. I think these people kind of, like, when, they, like, when this was designed, they realized just how bad those uh, small little exploding chariots are. The fact that they took out an item to make sure they'd never spawn in a room <laughs> that you can purchase. I think I've actually hindered my DPS out by picking up that knuckle strike, but... But it's fine. Good enough to eat. Uh, dash deflecting, extra two percent. I get more out of doing that, so I'm using quite a lot. I rather take the health here. Because I think that's what I take. No, yeah. Yeah, like each punch doing like a hundred damage though is pretty big. Good for that. At least by the looks of it. Eh, let's face against the mini boss then. Shame wasn't the one I wanted. It's that big soul catcher again. Get the soul catcher out, that's what we needed for from there, and we can do the rest of them quite easily. Yeah, we're still going well. You know, again, picking up new skills as always. So life is always a school day. This lady dumps her. And restore health. So restoration effects are better. When do I cast stick chill around me? Whenever you have no take ten percent less damage. Now we'll just do that. Oh, that's cold. The extra healing will be good now. And take the well I'll take the upgrade again, why not? level up. Nice. Oh, these punches do a large amount of damage though. I mean, look at that, every punch doing about like 100 damage. And I swear that blade is so good as well. I 
I noticed yeah, the, the sort of stun effects are a lot more prevalent in the newer version as well compared to what they are now. Eh, bash damage is irrelevant, I don't really care about that. Guess we'll increase that again. No. Actually, maybe. Yeah, it's probably fine. I say no, and look at the other two, and like, oh, yeah, sure, why not? Master Chaos, it's Persephone, my mother. She's returned. She's chosen to return. So things feel different, certainly, with her around, although I didn't feel any sort of shift. <laughs> you may not sense these shifts as I, but the lightness of this space bends and adjusts with time. For what you describe, it must have been the cause. Our trust in the occasion is a welcome one, and I am pleased that you returned nevertheless. <sighs> Uh, rewards are hidden, and my special does more damage. That's just really good. Um, three counters, I take more damage, but then my attacks do more damage back. It's my attack. My cast does more damage. No, we'll take that one. So I just can't see the rewards, which is fine. I do not mind for the next sort of few turns. Like, it's the, the, it's the least impactful one compared to what I was shown. I would like a way to deal with armor at the moment. Because armor has always been the one thing I was I kind of disliked about this game is <laughs> Just trying to deal with foes that had armor is a nightmare. Unless you like got the proper setup for it. And then not necessarily a bad thing, but is uh it's just kinda of frustrating. Oh we've got the shop anyway. Thank you, mate. Your predicament has pulled our family together, united in a desire to assist you, cousin. Even those who typically do not think much of those other than themselves. Oh, if only I had wisdom such as yours, Athena, dear, so that I was more capable of picking up on subtle jabs and insults such as that. You're not fooling anybody with your feigned benevolence, you know. <laughs> that's gonna say that's a slight dick. Not all lies and deceit as you make it out to be, Aphrodite. Sometimes a lending of assistance is no more than it appears to be. Now either back up Zagreus or stand aside. Cast gains, bonuses for striking foes from behind. Sounds pretty good, actually. A bit of deflect, make make foes exposed. I'll take the parting shot. Why not? Thanks, family. Pick up the duo boons while we can, and let's go. A deal with the delinquent duo. You again? Dare you clash against the champion of Elysium and his most trusted friend? Oh, Theseus. You're no fun. I mean, I'm probably going to have taken hits anyway here, so I've kind of accepted that I will have to use it after fights. I am disappointed, Artemis. I thought you were on my side. Where'd he go? Oh, he's there. 
Okay, he's down. It was just one of those spikes I kind of knew I had to use a Death Defiance because of just my setup. But we did well. We did well indeed. To my greatest fan. My chaos burn switched to a new effect. Nice. So, what are the champion of Elysium? Hmm. So I just generally increase my life total. Oh, blocking five attacks. Yeah, we'll block the five attacks, why not? I would like to get that, but hit the darkness. Should I take the train? And hopefully maybe get an upgrade to one of our boons or something. That'd be kinda nice. Yeah, there are several things I still haven't done with this game, which I thought I would have done by now, to be honest. But I guess that's the random nature of roguelikes. I can fish. I heard the ping. Oh, there it is. Back on duty, huh? But yeah, I hope you have a nice chill weekend with nothing too much to worry about or sort out or do. And then I go back into work and then probably fix like 100 problems that have uh, accumulated over the weekend. Because no one was monitoring them or whatever, you know. Standard stuff. But yeah, I am no by means a expert in any game. I just like playing them. I mean, there were games I used to min-max stuff quite a lot, and... I don't know, after a while I just got to a point where I felt like that just took away from my enjoyment of the games. I've been playing, like, well back in the day and stuff like that. I spent way too much time trying to min-max builds and... You know... I was uh, usually, as I would say, the designate healer of uh, <laughs> most raids and stuff, which was an absolute nightmare. You know why healers ended up going damage in the end? And why healers were allowed to go damage in the end? It's because the DPS couldn't DPS and the tanks couldn't tank. <laughs> and people go, well, uh, no, no you, just, you just don't really understand. <laughs> like, I spent ages in many, many attempts knowing all my cooldowns and when I should be basically working out battle plans and stuff like that. I did that quite a lot and I absolutely loved it. Like, it was always great fun. So like how long like certain uh, the tanks could pull aggro for, how long we had to hold the aggro for, when I could use my spells to help them out and assist them, and just all these sort of like small little things that end up adding up over the course of the the runs and stuff that we end up doing, and it was very important. Like once you got to the point where it's like okay, this is the battle plan, we need to stick to it. 
I'm like, okay, yeah, like most time, you know, people can't do stuff perfectly, so there is the margin of error, and you know, you kind of have to deal with that. I will replenish the death mine soon. So you kind of had to make sure that everyone kind of knew what they were meant to be doing in the rotations, the call outs and stuff. And the problem is you can't have like, you know, 12 people in one call or something like that. You kind of had to set stuff out so that communication was easy and efficient between the groups and yeah. Not be fast this time. I do miss those days when you got like a, you know, a bunch of people that have never even seen each other's face, all working together to uh, for the road ahead. I'll take this one. basically take something down that requires extreme coordination to the point where it can be sometimes, you know, just plain ridiculous. The fearsome Cerberus accepts the Satyr sack. There we go. Thanks, boy. <laughs> you did this. And let's face off against actual Hades for the first time after we kind of got Persephone back. Fishing spot. One last bit of business to take care of then. Huh. Confronting you like this. It's different now. Still, it is responsibility just as before. There is to be no escape from my realm. Ultimately, I must see to that myself. That's the spirit, Father. As for me, I find the candor of our interactions here to be rather refreshing, I must say. Especially the interactions between my weapons and your physique. You're tough, but you're an easy target. And you are strong, though slippery, blast you. <laughs> All that pent-up rage behind your smiling words. Come, unleash it once again. I expect you to go all out. To the death. To the death. Father and son bonding, hey? We're just throwing the ball around in the park, as you can see. That's all we got to be doing is throwing the ball around. It's a large amount of damage I end up pushing out though with these uh this again. But yeah, this is one of those ones where it's like um I don't know if I have enough DPS output to keep this all going, which is uh the bit I always hit the most is just like a long winded fight where you probably have to do a lot of concentration just to avoid certain things and you know you're always going to get hit, so we end up like just tanking through the boss fight. Very frustrating when, like, you just know that we are already doing is just tanking through a boss fight. We're not finished. <laughs> All right. A 
That's a devastating combo from the get hit by. I managed to avoid any of that. There's the other death appliance I didn't want to use, but hopefully you should be alright. There we go! I was surprised, I didn't think we had enough DPS up to finish this fight, but... I see I was wrong. In the name of Hades. There we go. Denizens of the deep, arise. Do my fishing. Come on up. I caught a bass. <laughs> Doesn't even know what bass is. <laughs> Catch a fish from each region. There we go, we managed to do that achievement. Let's leave. Thus, having once more gained at the surface of his grim-faced father's realm beneath the earth, resourceful Zagreus makes his way toward the one-time abode of radiant Persephone. It is a journey of considerable distances, which he has already completed many times, and which has always ended in the same result. So, imagine he made it there with just time enough to water the crops and tidy up a bit before... Ah! While in the end, as always. Oh, I'm sure Mother's cottage is perfectly fine. Oh, I don't know. It's going to speak to everyone, though. Mother's not here now, huh? You're late with your report, Hypnos. Again, again. The dead, of course, can wait, but I'm less patient. Now explain yourself to me. Oh well, let's see. I woke up, I don't know what time it was, and I made sure that every sheet had been accounted for, just like I always do, except I couldn't find my list at first. Can you believe it? I thought maybe my brother played a little prank, and so... Get to the blasts of points already. I don't have all day or night. Uh, your report, where is it? Sure, I was just getting to it, Master. My list, I found it over by the lounge. It was inside, but I am not the one who put it there, no, sir. So I've been making positively sure it's not been tampered with, that it has everybody's name, cause of death, place of birth, form of body weight, any previous allergies or medications. Enough. <laughs> Blood and darkness, that's enough from you. Just see to it the ledger of the dead is accurate, and get back to your post. Oh, would that you could be more like your brother. You've done it now, Hypnos. Oh yeah, dangerous. Okay. Ooh. Let's do it. Extreme oh, measures. Can be even more frustrating. That's something I have to see. Might as well pick that up while we can. Let's double check. Is there anyone else we can speak to while we're here? You're getting somewhere with that codex, lad. I'm pleased to see it. My duties to the house have meant that lately I can't travel quite as much as once I did. I'll try to travel for the both of us, Achilles. I've seen so little other than these walls. Um, Prince, so is it really true that you're staying with us and that you'll be working here officially, I guess? I'm, yep. Well, when you put it that way, yes, I guess it is. We're going to try and make it work like this for now. Well, you know what that means, don't you? 
We're official co-workers now. Isn't that so exciting? We can share our latest learnings, compare notes about the challenges we're up against, run into one another in the hall. Do so. We've been doing everything you said this entire time. <laughs> but it is not the same. The entire field looks completely different now. You'll see. So, okay, bye! Ah, do so. You're adorable. It's locked. House rules, lad. Oh, Orpheus is not here either. Congratulations on your new responsibilities, my child. So you have reason to rise from here to the surface still. It's more of a formality, I think. My responsibilities, such as they are, remain quite similar to those that got me to this point. But thank you, Nix. It's strange to think that I can serve the house by trying to break from it time after time. <laughs> there can be no escape. Your father wishes that this reputation spread. So that the mortals in the shades never attempt what you were able to achieve. Well, it does beat standing around in my chambers aimlessly. And I dare say it feels rather good not to feel utterly incompetent for a change. <laughs> it is an honor to be working with you, child. Likewise, Nix. You honor me, my child. Although I dread that I am not deserving of such generosity. There is no need to flatter me like this. Be that as it may, Nix, I would still like for you to have it. With my compliments. There we go. But yeah, now we're like over here we've got the uh, garden we can always have a look in and stuff as well. The garden of Persephone, the queen. Off limits to the prince throughout his life. Now is laid bare to him at last in all its splendor. Not like Mother's Cottage, but not bad. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. I don't know what. I think there's something you can do with it, but I don't really know because you know, haven't got past certain points after this. So. With these, my good chef. Three fish in. That's a good turn in the good haul. What can we trade for? Ooh, some keys for some darkness. That's a pretty good trade. Special. That is a pretty good trade. Yeah, and I want to keep the gems. Don't really need many more keys. The keys can probably go straight into nectar at some point, which that'll be the way things will go. And as we did not do it last time, that's maxed out. Good to go. We'll lie down. The heavy sleeping underworld prince arises with the feeling that the brief nap he intended as a respite from the rigors of the day or night. Apparently, it was none too brief at all. Ugh, I'm late for work. Father's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, I have to examine. Responsibility rejecting Zagris strides down his father's hall, quite unconcerned about the urgency with which he is expected to behave under a set of circumstances such as this. Going as fast as I can, you hurry up. The door to the administrative chamber beckons just beyond the hall. The prince perchance believes that he may enter quietly without drawing the notice of those laboring within. You'd better not give me away, old man. It's just you hurry in there, lad. Sorry, the day or night's duties are sheer simplicity itself. At least at first, as when the prince simply signs in to signal the commencement of his shift. Oh, God. Security reports concerning failed escape attempts from Tartarus require timely verification and official response, neither of which Prince Agrius is fit to give. <laughs> uh, that is not correct. Well, what is the latest explanation for your tardiness? Lost track of time admiring the courtyard view? Perhaps you were recuperating from your martial training. Achilles is not prone to holding back. Nah, we just slept in. I, I'm sorry, Father. I just overslept. I must have overslept. How am I even supposed to know exactly when to be here? I mean, every moment, every day and night here, it's all the same. It's not at all the same. The hue of Ixion's green light takes on an obviously lighter hue when it is time. You're an embarrassment not just to me here, boy, but to this entire operation. Now get back to work. Right. Uh, I 
do the left. Of expired house contract and renovations line a desk in the administrative chamber. Though the prince has absolutely no desire now to organize them alphabetically by date. None whatsoever, yes. Attendance records of the working shades who toil for the house need to be verified. The shades do compensation rapidly approved. And yet the prince cannot remember all the necessary steps. I haven't forgotten. No one told me. The training <laughs> lacking prince's efforts to administer approvals to the judgment terms ultimately leave a lot to be desired. Ah, uh, incorrect. Supplies on all the desks in the administrative chamber must be carefully maintained and neatly placed in a specific way, which the forgetful prince has not yet memorized in full. Ugh. A litany of complaints submitted by restless shades across the underworld must be evaluated, organized, and processed. But Prince Zagreus does not even know where to begin. I can't understand any of this. Prince Zagreus must have some favorite tasks in the administrative chamber of the house. But surely none of them include the tasks demanding his attention here. Correct. Enough, boy. Right. At last, the work disliking Prince records a summary of the results of his attempts to be of any use to the administrative needs of his grim father's house. Okay, I'm done. So, can I go yet, father? Not only were you late again, but then you also failed to perform even the simplest tasks that I had asked repeatedly that you complete. How many chances do you need at this? I am too lenient with you. Too lenient? Instead of lambasting me non-stop, have you considered maybe training me some more to do this fascinating work to your satisfaction? You'll forgive me if I didn't memorize every laborious detail the last time you performed your monologue about how all this works. Excuse me? If I'm not mistaken, you're deflecting your incompetence toward me? As though the Goddess of Wisdom herself has come to aid you in your time of need. I could replace you here and now with any number of simple shades hungry to work here. <laughs> then why don't you? I don't want any of this. I'm not the one who drew the short lock with your brothers and got stuck here forever. Why am I having to do this senseless parchment pushing for you? Why are you stuck? You're not. You're fired. I was wrong to think you were prepared to take on any responsibility at all. And don't you ever invoke your uncles here again, or I'll have you cast into the lowest pits of Tartarus. Now get out of my administration and my sight. Says the one invoked his. <laughs> Uh, uh, at least I can't be late for that job anymore. But yeah, that should then unlock access later again at some point. But yeah, there we go. Another run sorted. Always enjoyable. Through all that, the way to the surface. So again, if you do enjoy these videos, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.